Hello, this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. Welcome to our video series called Peppers 101. In this video series, we hope to give you knowledge about chilies from all over the world. And we hope with this knowledge that you will be inspired and encouraged to grow different kinds of chilies and try different kinds of chilies. We just hope, we just hope for that. And we hope you will share this knowledge and your love of chilies, especially the new chilies you discover, with your friends, your family, your neighbors, your co-workers. Please, share the chili pepper love. With that being said, real quick, time for the public service announcement. This is Jim Duffy, Refining Fire Chilies, and we urge you to get your children into the garden at a very, very young age, not just with chilies, but any kind of vegetable or fruit and show them the miracle of how something grows from a little tiny seed into a big plant and then bears fruit or vegetables. Then take it one step further and get them in the kitchen with you preparing food from the harvest. Then you can take it another step further and allow them to help you serve the meal, whether it's to your family or even better, a neighbor or a friend in need that would appreciate a delicious meal. Just make sure it's not a super hot meal because it might be the last time they ever get a meal from you. So with that being said, let's look at this chili right now. This pepper here is the Machu Picchu. Now doesn't that sound familiar? should sound familiar because there's an area in Peru high up in the mountains called Machu Picchu where you have some where you have an ancient structures like almost like pyramids that have been around for maybe thousands of years. And the region around there is also called Machu Picchu. And um, this is a chili from that area. It ripens from green. You can see this one starting to ripen to a dark chocolate brown. Here's a bigger one down here. They have a smoky sweet flavor the heat is close to that of a jalapeno or just below it. They're pretty darn productive. The plants grow five to six feet tall. They're a little bit slow starters. You can see there's some nice green ones up in here. But once they get going, you know, once they get going, some chili varieties just finish strong. They finish very strong. Here's another one through the net you can see right there. So they have that elongated shape. Sometimes they'll get a little, little point at the end. Sometimes they'll be a little bit more round. And like I said, they have kind of a smoky sweet flavor. I wouldn't say fruity, but a little bit of sweetness. That's the flavor profile. profile. Here's another green one over here. And uh, it's a chili that I've been growing since 2019. It's not, it's not a big seller, but you know what? Maybe if you guys share this information with people, others will learn about it. And then it will become something popular in American culture. So they're great for making, uh, putting in stir fries, chopping up and putting in salads. Uh, they're not thick enough walled for you to stuff them and wrap them with bacon. Well, you could try. And, um, you know, making in sauces, just adding as a flavor ingredient to any kind of dish. And, you know, what I want to say in this video, and I've said it in a number of other videos, if, 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 I, if you learn about a chili and it has a particular use, like, say, paprika. Most paprikas are uh, turned into powders and used in seasonings in Hungarian and Eastern European dishes. That doesn't mean you can't take a large paprika and stuff it. Okay, because you can. So don't be restricted by its traditional use. Be adventurous in the kitchen and try different things with it. And when you're doing these adventurous things in the kitchen, have your children be involved with you. Don't just hand them a phone or a tablet or the TV remote and say, hey, um, I'll see you later. And then let that babysit them. Get them involved in the kitchen. I know, I know you're tired from work. I know you guys are tired. I know you... I know I was a parent, raised seven children. I know, but you can always make time for a garden 
You can always make time for your children. Don't let the electronic devices in the, in the media teach them about life. Let you teach them about life and teach them about chilies. Get them started at an early, early age. Just be, just be careful with the super hot ones. Okay. So this is the Machu Picchu from Peru, South America. And, uh, I hope you've learned something about a new chili today. I wish there were a lot more in the plants to show you, but like I said, they're a slow starter. Let me lift this up over here. And you can see there's a bunch of green ones in here. That's the thing. When chilies start out green, you don't really see how many you got till they turn color. You know what I'm saying? So there could be like a hundred in here. I wouldn't know. Not until they turn color. Machu Picchu, and this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. Please like, share, and subscribe. We will have over 120 videos this year in 2023, so don't miss them. Take care.